Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another day of LSD of the Dream Emulator. Just realized I got my freaking volume turned up way too loud, that's fine. Right. And one of my ears and my headphones stopped working in my cheap 100 gen headphones that I buy from the 100 gen shop. Oh, that breaks so often. Buy some more jazz. What's over here? Where, where's that big guy? Big guy? I think he's right here. If he spawns. Okay. So we had a good dream, did we? Yeah. Unfortunately, I feel like I, I woke up, but I didn't actually wake up. Like, I woke up in the dream, it was like a dream in the dream, all those things. Um, I'll talk about the dream itself later, but because of that, when I did actually wake up, I'm like, hey, I, I wrote down about the dream, didn't I? Wait, did I? Shit. Open up my phone. Uh, I didn't. But thankfully, I remembered most of it, so it's, like, it's okay. Uh, there's nothing going on here. No. Not even someone in there. It's very red. Yeah. It's so red, you can literally see the haze effect just looking at the end of the corridor. It's got our stuff. You can't run upstairs, can you? Uh, I believe no. There's one more, there's one more in this place here. Such a weird ass apartment. Who knows? Oh, there's something there. You see that? I did, I don't know if that's actually a thing. I think that's just a thing. That's just a thing. So are these supposed to be apartments? What, each of these little rooms is an apartment? Because, yeah, I know what you're saying. So this is, because this is like... This is like a normal size for a corridor. Is it? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, this is a very small... If this is one... Maybe it's one of them like... Like, like lodgings where it's like super cheap but you've just got like a really small space. I watched a video the other day about, um, could you put like capsule apartments in, uh, I think it was China or Hong Kong or something, where it's basically just like, like just freaking cages, like, like a, a bunk bed essentially. And that's, like, capsule hotel is one thing, but this is, like, actually an apartment. So they just fucking live there. And it's, it's, it's not, it's not even as nice as, a, uh, like, a capsule hotel in Japan. It's just, it's literally just a cage. Here comes Spaceman. It's the Spaceman. I always thought, I remember for the longest time in this game, I thought that this wasn't, I thought this was the, uh, the Celestial Angel from Kyoto, but no, it's totally a space man, okay. It's the first time I've ever actually seen it go towards the apartment. Yeah, let's grab the top. Okay. I want to see if it comes back. Yeah. Also, I want to see if I can run it so it's pretty sure it's fine. Pretty sure if I run this way, it'll... I'll just run into the wall. You have to run here. Stop, I didn't run. Slowly go. Or well, we might as well talk about the dream while we're here. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. So, I had a dream. Um, where I was trying to wake from the dream. I was trying to, like, force myself to wake up. I'm not sure the, the, uh, the exact situation that I was in, but whatever it was, I didn't want to be there. 
So I was like trying to will myself to wake up. But um, I couldn't. Um, but then I guess it wasn't actually a dream. I said before it was a dream within a dream. That's actually a lie. It wasn't a dream within a dream. I was actually doing like VR. Because I remember taking off my VR headset. And it was a lot cool. It was a lot more useful of a VR headset than uh, the actual PSVR. Because um, you could like, while it was all like fitted perfectly on your head, you can sort of just slide the visor like up, angle it up so you can see out like underneath it. You can't do that with PSVR. <laughs> you have to basically take it off to look around. So we're what happened to Spaceship Man? Oh, that's not the dream anyway. Well, it's groovy. Yeah. Alright, but no. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I guess I was in like a, a VR thing, but I couldn't get out of it. It was like a weird trapped inside the, the Matrix thing. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a creepy dream. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a creepy dream. Another news? No! No. No! I will not do that. I will save the game and then I want to go. Okay. Well, when we come back, yes indeed. We will play some more LSD, the dream emulator. Hopefully I have another dream. You never know. Save that game. Hey! Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, I don't really have any super duper plans for tonight. It's kind of, it's kind of silly to, like, actually announce anything on the day, because, uh, the only person that would watch it would be off Tastic, and he doesn't, he's not actually, like, watching these the day they come out. So it's kind of pointless. Yeah, it's true. What you say is true. What I say is true. So, uh, but hey, who knows, maybe I'll have a chance to, uh, stream a bit, uh, tonight, maybe tomorrow, yeah, could probably stream tomorrow night, unless I just fall asleep, which is what usually happens on a weekday, I mean, that's, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Alright. So, for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.